store of the NBA. And the largest assortment of NBA fan gear anywhere. With unique, one-of-a-kind designs by Fanatics. And authentic fan gear. The latest styles. For every NBA team and all the players you love. Don't wait. Shop now and get today's special offer. NBAstore.com. A Fanatics experience. It's getting cold out there. Which means that special time is upon us. When the New York Lottery releases their seasonal scratch-off games. This year, we have four new tickets that make the perfect gift, including Winter Green Cash Word and Snow Me the Money, which even has a little section where you can write who it's for, making it a gift and a gift tag. The seasonal scratch-off games from the New York Lottery, available now. You must be 18 years or older to purchase a lottery ticket. Please gift responsibly. Always be game ready with the latest Brooklyn Nets merchandise available online at netstore.com, the official online store of the Brooklyn Nets. Shop the new city and classic editions that are among the NBA's hottest new styles and grab authentic jerseys, hats, hoodies, tees, and everything Nets. From throwback styles to the newest designs, gear up at netstore.com today, netstore.com to represent the Nets. This is Kevin Durant, and if you love Brooklyn Nets basketball, you're on the right station. The fan, WFAN. Welcome back to Nets basketball. Nets down at the Spectrum Center in Charlotte, North Carolina, leading the Hornets 42-37. to Kevin Durant leading the way, 14 points. He's taken seven shots and missed just one. Yeah, and he, the Nets, again, were stale offensively, and he has just come back in here in the second quarter, gotten his opportunities, and just drained shots. Charlotte with the ball out of the timeout as Devontae Graham loops the pass for Hayward. Back for Graham. The head fake tried to sell the foul. We play on. Graham now stops at the elbow with the shot clock winding down. Got off the shot. No good. But the rebound, Washington put it back up and put it through. Strong move by P.J. Washington. Small ball lineup on the floor right now, or relatively small, with Jeff Green at the five with Kevin Durant. and Maybe that had something to do with that rebound that P.J. Washington was able to get. Durant, the hot hand in this quarter, driving on Bridges, pulls back, shoots. That one is off the side of the rim from the left side, and rebound taken down by Graham, ahead for Rozier. The head fake, the drive, the scoop, no good. The rebound, Washington put it up, and he was fouled. So on successive possessions by Charlotte, it's P.J. Washington, six foot seven, 235-pounder, Showing off his yeah. uh, his muscle underneath. He, he's become a problem for the Nets right now. He's getting up and getting after it to, and being a factor on the glass. It's a nine point six rebounds. It's just a youngster, twenty two years old, second year out of Kentucky. He uh, came on the scene with the bang. He scored twenty seven points in his NBA debut a year ago. Hit seven threes in that game. That's his high watermark so far in his career, his first game as a pro. He's only 6'7", but you don't you see he doesn't give up much on the interior. He's really a, a physical handful. Yeah, Great Na explosiveness. Steve Nash referred to him as a mobile four, and he's been that in the second quarter. Here's Irving at the other end. In the left blocks, turns, banks it, and puts it through. He uses the glass so beautifully. Uh, he sure does, and he takes pride in his post-up ability with the fadeaway. That's by four. Underneath is Bridges. He walked. Miles Bridges turns it over for the Hornets. The Nets get it back, leading by four with 2.15 to go in the first half. Now the length of Kevin Durant was uh, the factor in that turnover. So being long, athletic, and intimidating. Kyrie Irving gets another post-up opportunity. He takes it. Going after it. He accelerates. He drives, and he scoops it in. He rolled it in off the glass, hung on the rim, and dropped 46-40. The Nets by six, under two to go in this first half. Bridges driving, elbowing Durant off of the play, and he scooped it through. Durant, oh, wow. one of the fouls. Wow, that was physical. He went right through. I'm shocked there was no call right there, like a tight end in the way he played, made that play. And now Hayward intercepts the pass in the lane, gives it ahead for Rozier, one-handed dunk. Makes this a two-point game. Yeah, the Nets are playing better. They're getting looser offensively, but so are the Charlotte Hornets, and that's why it's a close game still. 46-44 Brooklyn, 125 to go in the half. 
Irving has 11. The match is number. Driving the blocks. Off one leg. Kissed it home. Oh, what a shot by Kyrie Irving. He now has 13 in the Nets. Lead by four. Ball gets poked loose at the other end, but Irving off of one leg, falling down, used the glass, and then just banked it home. Well, you just said in the previous possession, nobody's better at using the backboard, or very few, and he did it right there. And just a brilliant one-legged move. Wow. But again, Nets are only up four points right now. They've got to close out this quarter and go into halftime with more confidence. Hayward fakes the three, drives right past Green, and Green, who was beaten on the play, reached in and fouled him, and he'll make Hayward earn it from the free throw line. Or more success. I think I said more confidence. I don't think this group lacks confidence right now. Durant and Irving leading the way. A combined 27 of the 48 points that the Nets have at this point in the game. 63 seconds to go in this first half. But the physical presence in the paint of the Hornets has been a little much for the Nets. They have 28 points in the paint. And uh, the Nets take a lot of pride in their ability to defend down low. And they haven't done that against this Hornet team. Hayward made both free throws. 48-46. Nets by two. Under a minute to go in this first half. As Durant probing from the top, now drives to the bottom of the lane and commits the offensive foul. Bridges took the charge, and it'll go back to the white-clad Hornets with 49 seconds to go in the half, and Charlotte has a chance to tie or go back in front. Well, certainly the defense is going to be lined up, and Kevin Durant has that approach as attacking the basket. Miles Bridges did an effective move by slipping in and drawing the foul. That'll bring us uh, to a late timeout here in this first half. 49 seconds remaining in half number one. The Nets protecting the two-point lead, 48 to 46. Bob Huesler sitting in today for Chris Carino, who was on NFL assignment. Always a pleasure to sit in with you, Capper, on a night we're in the Brooklyn studios, and the Nets are down in uh, Charlotte, and the Nets are going to be coming home for a while after this one. Yeah, they are, and uh, the Brooklyn studios. This is a heck of a studio we got right now, isn't it? The, this <laughs> biggest studio in the, in the world. <laughs> you know, that's right in the middle of the Barclays Center. It is a long way of looking at it. It's, it is a uh, high ceiling and a lot of space. Yeah, it's, yeah it's a very good point. <laughs> got your own court if you want to get a workout. Kind of a funny first half for the Nets. I mean, I guess you just expect a lot. And you feel like they haven't played well yet. They have a lead of two points. But I'm impressed with Charlotte, too. They're, they're a competitive group. They're getting after it. They have a little physicality about them. They don't have a lot of interior strength or height, but they're playing with power. They've got 28 points in the paint. P.J. Washington has been a factor. Terry Rozier looks like an improved player. And they're learning to play with each other. They didn't have much of a preseason, as all NBA teams did not really have a uh, normal preseason. And you've got to integrate a rookie who's going to be an impact player, they hope, LaMelo Ball. And, of course, Gordon Hayward is learning this system. Now, I think a factor in this first half that the Nets are going to address is the 13 second chance points of, of the of the of the Hornets so far in this game against seven offensive rebounds, but they've been able to capitalize and be able to get putbacks and, and really do hurt the Nets on the interior. You know they um, they're going to put Durant on the line here. Remember, originally it looked like uh, they're going to call an offensive foul. Uh, it was, uh, a, was challenge. a challenge, and uh, instead you're going to have Bridges who gets called on. The foul, and you know why. Yeah, I, mean, I know why, because his foot was on the line. That yep. was the challenge, and That's you're it. able to get the angle to see it. And Kevin Durant's going to go and knock down the first free throw. So Durant is on his way to another uh, good scoring night. He had 22 in the opener against his former team. He had 29 against the Celtics, and as he sets for the second free throw, he puts it through, and Kevin Durant now with... 16 points, Nets by four after Durant makes both and 40 seconds to go in the half. Charlotte Ball, Washington, Hayward, underneath, in position, put it through. A nice feed by Washington to find Hayward in perfect position. You now it's Kyrie Irving switched on to Hayward and he had the size advantage. 
Burby tries to answer at the other end. Kicks it out for Levert. He drives. He stops. 10-footer. No good. Rebound. Irving had it. Then he lost it. 20 seconds to go in the half. And Charlotte has it down by two. James Borrego calls the play from the far sideline. Terry Rozier working the point. Eight seconds. Rozier fakes. Gives for Hayward. Five seconds. Hayward fakes right, drives, spins from the elbow, puts up a tough shot, back rim, no good, buzzer sounds, and the first half comes to an end with the Nets leading the Hornets by two, 50 to 48. Good scoring first half for the big two for the Nets. Kevin Durant at 16, Kyrie Irving had 13, three players in double figures for the Hornets. Terry Rozier with 14, Gordon Hayward and P.J. Washington 10 apiece, two-point game at the half as the Nets try to remain perfect on the early season. 50-48. to 48. Nets lead the Hornets at the half on the fan. Sports Radio 66 and 1019 FM WFAN. What words come to mind when you think of Honda? Reliable should be one. Fun. <laughs> That's a good one. But there is one word that sums up every Honda. Quality. Honda was named KBB.com's 2020 Best Value Brand. So whether you choose the sizzling Civic, acclaimed Accord, or sporty CRV, you know you're getting quality that's unmatched. Contact your Honda dealer or shop KBB.com's 2020 Best Value Brand online. Based on 2020 Brand Image Awards from Kelly Blue Book, visit KBB.com for more information. Here's Durant to the rim, powers it down! Always be game ready with the latest Brooklyn Nets merchandise at netstore.com. Netstore.com is the official online store of the Brooklyn Nets. Pay homage to Nets history by wearing throwbacks from the 1990-91 season. Represent the Nets and purchase your gear today at netstore.com. Ambulance is the official emergency medical services provider for the Brooklyn Nets and the Barclays Center. Ambulance is the leading medical provider in the sports and entertainment field and in the healthcare industry. Their dedicated staff of physicians, nurses, paramedics, and EMTs are specially trained and experienced to provide you with the highest level of care. To contact Ambulance, call 718-863-8800. That's 718-863-8800. Or visit their website spelled A-M-B-U-L-N-Z dot com. In today's world, it's more important than ever to surround yourself with people and companies you can trust that will help you through some of the toughest decisions you've ever had to make. Whether you're looking to reopen your business or buy or rent a new home, Hub International is by your side. Visit Hub's Coronavirus Resource Center at hubinternational.com. Whether you're looking for help on business insurance, employee benefits, retirement planning, or even how to file for unemployment benefits, you'll get the information you need. Because at Hub International, our mission is to help you protect what matters most. Hi, this is Joe Harris, and you're listening to Brooklyn Nets Basketball on the Fan, Sports Radio 1019 FM and Sports Radio 66, WFAN and WFAN FM, New York. And welcome to the Brooklyn Nets Halftime Show, presented by FanDuel. The Nets try to improve to 3-0 and for the first time in 18 years, and the Charlotte Hornets are trying to avoid an 0-3 start to their Young season, and at the half, the Nets lead the Hornets 50 to 48. Kevin Durant at the half has uh, 16 points for the Nets, and Kyrie Irving has 13. As we check the rest of the out of town scoreboard, the Magic lead the Wizards at the end of the first half 62 to 60. Orlando looking to start his season with three consecutive wins, and the Wizards are trying to avoid their third straight loss to open the season in case you missed it last night Russell Westbrook had another triple double in another Washington loss so he's had two games before tonight as a member of the Wizards he's had two triple doubles and the Wizards have lost both games last night he had 15 15 and 12 and a 130 to 120 loss to the same team they trail tonight Orlando up at the half 62 60 on the Wizards also at the half, San Antonio trying to improve to 3-0 on the season. is playing New Orleans, and the Pelicans lead that game by two at the half, 47-40. So let's see, the first three games we've checked, including this one at the half, are all two-point games at the half. Early in the second quarter, the Cavs looking to improve to 3-0 against another 2-0 team. 
the Sixers. Cleveland leads that game 31-26. to The Knicks are 0-2 to start their year. They are playing tonight at the Garden against the Milwaukee Bucks. And the Knicks lead this game at the end of 1-30 to 27. Earlier today, the Dallas Mavericks got on the uh, Right in the win column for the first time this year as they blew out the Clippers 124 to 73. So the Clippers with their first loss of the season, the Mavericks with their first win of the season. Luka Doncic came into or uh, got into triple double territory, 24 points, nine rebounds, and eight assists. If you missed some of the other Saturday night NBA highlights, CJ McCollum had 44 points and hit a three with six and three ten seconds to go in overtime in a Blazers 128-126 win over James Harden's Houston Rockets. Harden had 44 in the loss, also had a big turnover late in that game. DeMontis Sabonis had a triple-double in a Saturday. Pacers routed the Bulls 125-106. to The uh, Kings are 2-0 for the first time in 17 years. They beat the Suns on Saturday night. Trey Young at 36. He's off to a good start this year and the Hawks win over the Grizzlies, 122 to 112. The Grizzlies will be here in Brooklyn tomorrow night. This is the first game of a back-to-back for the Nets. They are in Charlotte tonight, and they turn around and play the Grizzlies in Brooklyn tomorrow night at the half, down at the Spectrum Center. It's the Nets by two. They lead Charlotte 50 to 48. Halftime coverage, the halftime show, which is presented by FanDuel continues after this timeout on the fan sports radio 66 and 101.9 fm wfan it's hard to stop smiling when you're driving the redesigned honda accord maybe it's the standard turbocharged engine or the stunning fastback design or maybe it's because the accord is car and driver's most fun to drive mid-size sedan experience the excitement of the redesigned honda accord and the accord hybrid the most powerful hybrid in its class Contact your Honda dealer today or shop online. Car and driver November 2019. Total system horsepower is measured by the peak and current output of the two electric motors and gasoline engine. Kill the cancer. Keep your prostate. Mymodides is the first and only hospital on the East Coast to offer the next generation focal high food treatment for prostate cancer. High intensity focused ultrasound selectively destroys the cancer cells within the prostate while leaving the healthy areas of the prostate intact and functional. For better outcomes, choose Maimonides. Call 888-MMC-DOC. 